Hello students, so let us solve one more problem here based on Coulomb's law and given that there are four charges placed at the corners of uh, a square and two similar charges capital Q and two more charges small q okay and what you have to find out what and give uh, you, you need to get the value of q so that net to force on that charge is zero okay what is the value of q so that net to force on that small q equal to zero so we have two charges one q here one q here let us take any one of the charge okay let us consider this particular charge so if you want to get net to force on this charge is equal to zero then what should be its value that is the question now if you look at this <coughs> on this particular charge all other charges all these three charges will apply force right because they are separated by certain distance and given that uh, this is, let us consider this as a square okay it is given as a square so each side has uh, side length a okay and now due to this there will be some force on this but the nature of force that depends on the sign of the charge right so if you consider this one as positive and this uh, small q is also positive then what happens the force between this and this charge will be along this direction that will be a repulsive force similarly if you consider all the charges as positive Okay, this one is also positive if you consider then the force will be along this right similarly this will repel this along this direct direction so that the resultant force the net resultant force of course this uh, one force is acting along this and one acting along this and one acting along this and due to this one and this one the resultant will act along this particular direction only right that is what happens if you consider all the charges as positive or if you consider all the charges as negative that means in this particular case the net force on this q won't be equal to zero correct no so if you consider all the charges of same sign then net force on this particular charge won't be equal to zero therefore if you want to get the net force on this small q equal to zero then the capital Q and small q must be of opposite sign. Please remember that. Okay. The small q and this capital Q must be of opposite sign. Therefore, I will consider this as positive, capital Q as positive and small q as negative. Now, what happens? Now, what happens? This positive plus q will attract this minus q, right? So I want to get the net force on this particular charge as zero. Okay. So now this minus Q will, uh, sorry, this plus Q will attract this minus Q along this particular direction. Let us consider that force along this particular direction. Okay. Along this, there will be a force of attraction. Similarly, this plus Q will attract this minus Q, right? What about the direction? that will be along this particular direction correct no then what about the force that will be f itself because both have same magnitude and distance of separation is also same therefore the force will be same right so two forces acting at 90 degree acting at 90 degree two equal vectors acting at 90 degree then what will be the resultant of these two vectors that resultant will act along the diagonal right so that will act along the diagonal right then what about its value equal vectors acting at 90 degree means the resultant value will be root 2f you have to remember that shortcut okay if two vectors acting at 90 degree then resultant to equal vectors acting at 90 degree means their resultant will be equal to root 2f so what is the direction along this particular direction okay that is about the force on this minus q due to capital q okay what is that value we got root 2 f that is the val value which we get now one more charge is there no minus q so this minus q will repel this minus q right because they have same sign therefore what will be the direction of repulsive force what will be the direction of repulsive force repulsive force will act along this particular direction 
right so i will write that force as fr fr means that repulsive force r stands for repulsive force okay so that will be along this direction and given that the resultant force on q must be equal to zero when you get resultant force equal to zero if there are two forces acting so now there are two forces acting on this particular charge what are those two forces one is fr and one more is root 2 f so if you want to get resultant force on this equal to zero then this one and this one these two forces must be equal and opposite then only you will get the resultant force as zero that means this root 2 f must be equal to what f r correct no when these two forces are equal and opposite then the net force on that charge will be equal to zero now you need to uh, <coughs> apply coulomb's law concept okay so here root 2 okay root 2 into f f is the force between this capital q and small q so using coulomb's law we can write that as k into q1 q2 what is q1 capital q q2 my that small q so capital q small q divided by distance square distance is a therefore a square correct no yes this must be equal to what fr fr is the force between this minus q and minus q so how to write that 1 by 4 pi epsilon out of k into q1 q2 both have same charges therefore q into q divided by r square that means the distance square so the distance from this charge to this charge so here to here what is the distance given that this is a square right therefore what will be its value uh, the diagonal value that will be equal to root 2a correct no each side is of length a therefore the diagonal from here to here that distance will be equal to root 2a therefore we can write that as root 2a square correct no root 2a square yes now just simplify this just simplify what do you get this k and k get cancelled right you can you can cancel k and one small q you can cancel right and what about a square a square can be cancelled here then what do you left with root 2 square root 2 square means that will be 2 right therefore you left with on this side root 2 and here you have q and here q divided by 2 because root 2 square that is nothing but so if we rearrange for q that is what we require right so q is nothing but 2 root 2 into q you will get okay 2 root 2 into q but what about the sign what about the sign this should be negative right that should be negative because it is given that this one is plus q okay so capital q that is is taken as positive okay therefore this should be negative so if you if they have given this one as negative for example if capital q is negative then this small q will be positive because if you want to get net force on this particular charge as zero you have to consider capital q and small q as opposite or uh, of opposite sign okay therefore q equal to minus 2 root 2 into q okay hope you got it yes